I'm Associate Professor Dr. Zurina uh, from School of Chemical Engineering, School of Chemical and Energy Engineering. So here uh, I am actually the uh, academic. Uh, basically, this manual uh, will be used to prepare the proposal and also the final thesis for the bachelor, master, and also PhD studies. Okay, this is the page for SPS, and if you like it. If you look at the page uh, on the right side, there's a handbook and guidelines. Okay, uh, this is the uh, the page when you click on the template thesis. As you can see, we have few templates being uh, uploaded here, so you can download the template. And later on, uh, I will briefly uh, show you uh how to use the template no i will uh, summarize uh what actually uh you need to know from the manual so uh in the thesis manual uh you consists of five chapter which is organization of the thesis a general requirement thesis format reference style and also the last one is electronic thesis and dissertation electronic thesis for the submission uh, for the last submission, thing like this. Okay. Uh, you can select and you can also modify here in the dedication parts. And here you can select everything have the drop down. And then, of course, you need to change the name here uh, with your name and the date. Okay. And then it goes on. You can type in and uh, I will show you a few critical parts here. How to delete school name. Okay, here. Under the school name, ah, uh, here. As you can see, uh, School of Chem uh, of Electrical Engineer, blah, blah, blah. So basically, you cannot delete directly. You, uh, you can, because a certain faculty, they don't have school. For example, Faculty of Science. They don't have school, but faculty of engineering, uh, there, there are many schools. So you have school, faculty, and university. So for faculty of science, you need to delete the school. But you cannot just uh, delete like that. It, it is not allowed. So what you need to do is uh, you, you click on the left here. Click the left here. And then you hit the delete button, so it will be deleted. Okay. But, but uh, it will actually modify the 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 length here, the space, and you need to enter back one space. That is how you delete the school name. Okay. So, okay. So basically, uh, in the YouTube, that there is one, there is one YouTube specific to show you on how to delete this cool name. Okay, right. I just I just go through the 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 one that important. Okay, that one is one. And uh, how to format chapters? Okay, this is another one. So the rest is the same. You can go and select the drop down like that. Okay, and it goes on and on like that. And then until here, you can see the abstract and you can see it goes to the chapter. When you go to the chapter, okay, this is chapter one, okay. So if you can see chapter one, uh, most of the students, what they did was, they just copy their, uh, their, their, they just copy their uh, chapter one from other file and just paste, paste in in the paragraph here. You know, they just paste, and you can do that, but it says that that is not the best way. The best way is you can format, uh, format your own uh, chapter. Okay, uh. Actually, uh, it is not easy to format the preface here, but 
because you can have different file like the preface file, chapter one file, chapter two file, chapter three file, and so on. And later on, uh, towards the end, you can combine the file. So it is advisable that for the preface, you have one chapter. And then when you start chapter one, you can you can format your own chapter, not just to cut and paste. Uh, 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 it is not advisable, but you can do it. You can cut and paste here. And there are also students who actually directly type, type inside here. You just type in, follow the format that have been given to you. Okay. Later on, I will show you on uh, a bit, okay, a bit on how if you want to start the new chapter. I'm not the expert, but I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, Raji will do it for me. Everything. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it, but uh, I, I try to show you. So, the most important during this uh, formatting, you need to make sure all the spacing, spacing from the subheading to the first words and the indentation, and from the last paragraph to the first, uh, the next heading. So, you need to know the margin. So, basically, you can do it manually, but this is easier. It's being prepared to you. Um, so how to format chapter? Later on, I will show you how to format chapter. This is not how to format chapter. This is uh, when you want to directly use, uh, directly use uh, this um, this template. This is an another way on how to use the template. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is one 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 uh, one way of doing it. So let's say now you want to uh, you want to start a new chapter. So a new chapter which is without all the uh, without all the preface just now, uh, just a chapter. Okay. okay. I need to open open up. Yes, you are not. Uh, you need to open another maybe file you want to oh, share. Oh, oh. Okay. No, nothing is being shared now. Yeah. Okay. Let's say I have a new file. Wait. Eh? Okay, let's let's open a blank uh, a blank uh, word word file. You just want to start your write out. So what you need to do is uh, first you need to uh, create a developer tab. Uh, okay, in if you can see in my ribbon here, there is no developer type. So what I need to do is go for file. I'm not mistaken. Eh? I try my best. <laughs> you go to option. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then go to option. And where is it? Advanced. Where is it, Raji? <laughs> <laughs> you go to option and it yeah. go to customize ribbon. Where is the customize yeah. ribbon? Okay, here. It's down. It's customize down. Customize ribbon. Okay. And then. Go to customer seven and go to the developer. Where is the developer? Ah, uh, so it's in the next box, doctor. Huh? Developer. Ah, uh, it's on the That's box the on the right. Yes, there. The one yeah. that is in yeah, yes, yeah. developer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tick here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very difficult with with this old lecturer. <laughs> Not very IT enough. Okay. Then when you have the developer uh, tab here, uh, now what you need to do is to import uh, to import the dot dotx file. So you go to the developer and then doc document template. Here, document template. So, in the document te template, you need to select uh, uh, 
I think it's here. I need, you need to select the file. Mm, attach, attach template. Yeah. You need the to, one you want. Yeah. The one that you save. Yes. The one that you have saved from the SPS website just now. Oh my God. Where is it? So many. Okay, here. Here it goes. And then open. And then okay. Then now basically uh your template, if you look at under the style, I think here. It should be the, the style should be here already. Where is it? Okay. This is not the style yet, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I think uh, go to developer again, document template, and then you need to tick automatically here, right? Okay. And then okay. okay. Ah. So this is the style. Uh, the font size and all for the. uh for the format for the utm thesis format so now you can start writing let's say chapter one chapter one and introduction okay and then let's say you have something then you get another one Okay, now chapter one here, it will become the, uh, so you can select uh, the chapters here. Uh, heading, subheading, subtitle, I think for the title you have your, the, is it the, uh, the heading one? Something like this, okay. So then it will go to the subheading. So it will format for you. So you just highlight and it will goes on and on. Heading number three and then heading number four. So the way uh the way uh, it will uh, it will format for you basically will follow uh this this style, meaning that you can have you can have, let me copy paste one, I think. Let me copy paste something. Maybe it can be, I don't know. Okay, let me copy paste here. Yeah, but this one is already in this form, but uh, this is what you can do. This one is uh, heading one, and then this one will be also heading one. Uh, but the, the thing is you need to uh, again confirm the spacing because, uh, because uh, for, for to write your chapter using this template, for this one, the spacing you need to, to double check because you need to do your own spacing here. Follow the guideline from the manual. But it will give you the, the style or the format of writing. Okay, uh, this one can be a heading two. So it will format as heading two. And then uh, I think there's something wrong with the style here. It's supposed, uh, supposedly, uh, when it is chapter one, here should be one. Automatically, it will, it will become one here. But I don't know. Uh, maybe mine is not the way that I uh, import just now is not 
some something missing, I think. But it's supposedly when you when you select the text of the style here, it will follow. Okay. And then chapter one, when you write chapter two, uh, when you write chapter two, when you uh, select the style for the sub subtopic, it will become one also. Uh, later on, when you combine the chapter, it will become two. Okay. When you write a different chapter, it still become 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 the same goes to the figure and table if you have. This is if you use this type of uh, setting. And uh, let's see here. This one is manual. You can see the tick tick here. Okay. Let's say from from this. Uh, uh, let's say this is the first um, paragraph. So you can have because from from the title to the first sentence is two line. So you can choose para two line. Para two line. So it will give you para two line here. So if let's say you have another uh, paragraph. Uh, okay, and this paragraph is the, the last paragraph before you have uh, another subsection. So let's say this is another heading heading two. So from 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 the last paragraph to the next subheading is four line. So you just click here and you go to para four line. So it, oh, you cannot see because you but 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 it's actually if you can see uh let me do it like this how is it so it will okay so it will uh, format for you that from the last last paragraph to the next subsection is four line but if it is not enough like this uh the next page it will start with the another heading it will go like this because uh, for for the thesis, you you cannot have the blank blank page on top. You must always have the the text. Uh, see, uh, let's say I delete this one again. Okay, and. Let's say this is the second heading, and this is the last paragraph. You go to para four line, so it will set four line here, and then two line here. So, uh, in between the paragraph is two line, right? So if let's say there is no line there, but you cannot. Yeah, you must have like this. You can click here and you put. Uh, uh, you can do it if you, if you have the middle middle paragraph. Middle paragraph is para two line. You can use para two line. Okay, if let's say you have here uh, paste. Okay. So here is para four line. Because you want to have four four space here, and then here must be para two line. Para two line. There will be two line here and two line here. So that is how you format uh, the chapter. And uh, the same thing goes when you want to format the the figure, the chapter. <laughs>